everyone, so today I'm going to be doing this look for you and I have no idea what I'm going to call it. It is all based around this eyeliner that my best friend got me. It's this kind of greeny colour here. Um, it's from Kiko which is an Italian brand and it's supposedly just as good as MAC but you know I, don't, I only have one thing. But um, my best friend bought this back from her honeymoon for me because she loves makeup, I love makeup so we kind of do each other a favour. <laughs> And um, yeah, so I really wanted to use this, but I didn't really know what to pair it with, so I thought I would go for a neutral up top eye, if that makes sense, a neutral upper lid and then a colourful bottom lid with a bright pop of colour on the mouth. So um, yeah, I really love this lip colour, it's the same colour I used in my Cirque du Soleil video. Um, if you haven't seen that, I'll put a link somewhere here for you to see that. And um, yeah, so if you want to see how to get this look and drop everything in my possession, then um, yeah, just keep on watching. I'm already about my primer and today I'm using the Bourjois Healthy Mix Concealer as my primer because I really wanted to pick up my Urban Decay Primer Potion but because they're in the same kind of tube I picked up the wrong one. And then I've also applied a black eyeliner to my upper waterline. So the first colour you're going to take is going to be our crease slash transition colour. So I'm using Shale from MAC and it's a, a really difficult to describe colour. It's kind of like a taupey, pinkish kind of purple colour with a bit of grey in it, so I absolutely love it. And you're going to pick some of that up on a brush and tilt your head back and then you're just going to rock it into your socket line or your crease area I should say. And just creating small circles will help to blend this out and you're going to blend it upwards towards the brow. And then picking up a bit more I want to bring it in towards the nose as well. So through here, it's going to give us a little bit more shape and definition. So I'm just going to keep blending in small circles until I'm happy with the blend. I'm going to pick up a tiny bit more and just blend that in the outer corner as well, just to make sure there's some colour on that part of the lid. So then the next colour I'm going to take is from Hard Candy. This is number 068 Rock and Roll and I'm going to take this purple side here. So I'm just going to dip the tip of the bristles into the eyeshadow and then again tilting the head back I'm going to place this in my socket and creating very small circles I'm just going to rock this into the socket. And I also want to pick up a little bit more and put it on the outer corner of the eye. So you're pretty much just making sure your ear is all nicely blended and nicely transitioning. So this is kind of like a purpley blue, like a purpley grey blue. Um, so you're just going to make sure it butts up against the shale. Obviously you don't have to use the same colours that I am. You can use whatever colours you like. And then I'm going to mix a tiny bit of that purple shade in with MAC Satin Taupe. Um, again, which is just a nice kind of purpley mushroom taupe brown colour very difficult for me to describe colours and then I'm just going to again on the very tip of the brush just rock that right on the socket area where the move, mobile part of the lid sort of stops moving. I'm having a bit of a job speaking today. <laughs> I seem to be having a bit of a, a speech impediment temporarily. I say temporarily, I get it a lot. <laughs> so you're just going to apply that to the outer corner as well. If you want it to be a little bit more purpley, because these have all been kind of like grey toned purples, you can apply a darker purple like this, this is Sketch from MAC, and again just the tip of the bristles of the brush, and again on that very socket area and on the outer corner only, sort of into about here and then on the outer corner. So for the lid itself, I am going to be using Makeup Geek's Twilight, I absolutely love this colour, it is it's not all that shimmery actually, it's got a little bit of a pearl to it. It is like the um, the shale but more pink and I absolutely love this. This has become my new favourite eyeshadow colour. So I'm just going to take that on the barrel of the brush and just pat that onto the lid. Obviously using a fluffier brush it's not going to de deposit quite so much colour. So you just want to pat it on so that it's all evenly covered. And then you want to take a highlight colour, so I am going to take Vanilla from MAC. Again, this is a lot of MAC eyeshadows and I didn't intend for that, but it's just the colours that go really well with this look. So again, on the brush, onto the brow bone, highest point, and then 
spread it across the rest of the brow bone. Blend it in with that shale colour and if there's a little bit of a harsh line to take a little bit more shale, blend it up into the vanilla. So you want this to be quite seamless. Okay, that's the top lid done. So for the bottom lid, this look is pretty much based around this eyeliner and this is a Kiko eyeliner pencil out of the... And yeah, this is... I can't speak. Okay, so the next step is going to be to use a kind of greenish teal eyeliner and this is kind of what the look is based around. This is from Kiko and it's an eye pencil in Matita Ochi. I'm not really sure because I don't do languages very well. I think it is number 107. So I'll just put a little bit on the back of my hand. That is what it looks like. My best friend got me this on honeymoon in um, Italy. So this is going to go on the lower lash line and you want to make it thicker at the outer part and then make it thinner as you come in this has also got a little bit of glitter in it as well so it's going to be nice and shimmery um, a colour to dupe this for would be um, Urban Decay Eyeshadow in Kush so just keep that in mind so you're going to make it like I say wider at the outer part you're going to take it all the way to the under the tear duct and make it thinner on the inner corner and then I'm just going to take a little smudging detailer brush and I'm just going to blend out the lower part of that line just to make it nice and smooth. I'm going to go back with my black eyeliner pencil and I'm going to apply this into my lower waterline. Like I said, it's already in my upper waterline, so I want it in my lower as well. And then the next colour I'm going to take is another new favourite of mine and again it's from Makeup Geek. This is Pixie Dust and it's just an amazing um, like pink, not pink, <laughs> it's an amazing yellowy green colour so that's what it looks like. And you may have heard me drop it, I'm praying it's not broken and it's not. So again on that little detailer brush I'm going to put this into the tear duct area. Um, this is the same colour that I used in my Cirque du Soleil video. So I'm just going to take it up into this little pocket here and then when you open your eyes it will meet with the um, shale nicely and I'm also just going to take a little bit more and pull it along the lower lash line slash tear duct area just to kind of give that eyeliner a bit of an extra boost and then I'm just going to take my blender brush and then just give it a really quick blend on the outer edge just to get rid of any harsh lines so for eyeliner, I have to say this eye went way too thick, I didn't want it anywhere near as thick as it is, but I am going to use my Physicians Formula Eye Booster Eyeliner, give it a shake, and yeah, it's going to line the eye. So as I said, this eyeliner went a lot thicker than I really wanted it to be. So what I did was I just took my eyeshadow brush and I took the um, Makeup Geek Twilight eyeshadow, barrel of the brush again, just pat it into the shadow and then I patted it along the eyeliner just to kind of dull it down a touch so it doesn't look quite so sharp and harsh. And then I went back in with my eyeliner booster thing and just right against the lash lines just gave it a really sort of defined line. Uh, <laughs> my sentence is coming out like a stop start. Um, okay, so next is mascara. I have got my Max Factor False Lash Effect 24 hour one. I absolutely love this. So um, I hate smell, love the product. So you're just going to apply this to the look. Okay, so now that the eyes are done, we're going to move on to the face. I've just applied my foundation, so before I set the skin, I'm going to apply a cream blush, and this is an NYX cream blush in Tickled. And I'm going to take a synthetic brush, this is the Real Techniques Contour Brush, and I'm just going to pat that into the product, and then pounce it onto the cheeks, on the apple of the cheeks, and then work it backwards. This just gives you a nice kind of glow to the skin, as opposed to like a dry, powdery, kind of finish so I really like this and this is kind of like a peachy coral a little bit shimmer kind of um, colour blush everybody loves a bit of a coral blush <laughs> so um, you're just going to do that on both sides 
I'm using a different mirror today if anybody noticed. It's got a cupcake on it. Pink. So the next I'm going to set the skin and I have got my Georgia um, face powder from Benefit. So I'm just going to use a big brush to just push that onto the skin to set everything in place. When you get to the neck, just kind of use circular motions. It will make things a little bit easier and blend all the harsh lines out. Okie dokie. And then for contour, I have got, as usual, my Benefit Hula Bronzer. Um, I'm really looking for a cheaper option of this, so if anybody knows of one, let me know. So, right at the back of the cheeks, where you kind of get a bit hollow in the cheeks, you're just going to apply this in circular motions just to blend it out so that it's not the harshest line of life and you're also going to take this up onto the um, temples just to give you a little bit of a slimmer face because I want my face to be slimmer and um, be careful how much you apply of this because obviously most bronzers have got an orangey tone to them and you don't want to look orange if that's the look you're going for then more power to you but that's not the look I kind of want to rock myself, so you just want to kind of be careful how much you apply. Then I'm going to apply some to the corner or the edges of the nose as well. And then if you're not sure if it's all blended out, just take the brush you powdered your face with and just give it a little swirl around and that will make it blend through a bit easier. So finally for the face, I'm going to take my highlight and I'm using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle and a Ruby and Millie brush. And I'm just going to apply this to the highest points of my cheeks, um, otherwise known as the cheekbones. And you can also apply this down the centre of the nose, onto the kind of forehead above the um, eyebrows. You can apply this wherever you want, and the light to kind of naturally catch you. Okay, the fun part. This is going to be a really nice bright pink lip. So I have got two products. I have got the BH Cosmetics Waterproof Lip Liner in Fuchsia. So that is what it looks like. I was going to draw it on my hand and then I realised I wouldn't get it off. And then again, like my Cirque du Soleil video, I am using the Milani Lip Flash in 06 Flashy. So you're going to line your lips with this and then paint the lip flash over the top. So there you have it, that is the final look. So it's kind of neutral on the top, colourful on the bottom, and a nice bright pop of pink on the lips. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this, and I hope you find it helpful. Um, remember, you don't have to use the products that I use. Use whatever you have in your collection and in your price range, and you know, don't sort of follow me if you don't have the same product. Don't go out and buy something just because I have it. So um, yeah. Once again, thank you very much for watching. Please comment, rate and subscribe. And until my next video, I shall see you soon. Bye.